Hey there guys and welcome back to Europe in Detail. Here's a little sneak peek of what we get up to in this episode. We have indeed pushed on to the next little town and this one is based off an Italian style coastal town. But before we get into this, I've got to explain how we got here. So let's rewind a little bit. Gottsburg had grown into a bit of a monster. While I was down my little rabbit holes doing each episode, as much as I enjoyed each individual build, when I zoomed out, I had this growing feeling that it really wasn't working. You know, it's like putting all your favorite ingredients into a bowl and hoping to make an amazing meal, and it kind of hasn't worked on a larger scale. Now, I know there's a lot of you that loved those builds, and we will always have those episodes, but I have deleted a large portion of Gottsburg, namely from the museum all the way back. Everything from the Gottsburg tunnel is pretty much gone, or sorry, Gottstadt tunnel is pretty much gone. And yeah, like I said, on a larger scale, when I zoomed out and looked at the whole city or town, it just didn't work. These things, the vibe had gone, the character had gone. I had tried to introduce too many styles into one small town. As good as Gottsburg Beach was, for instance, it looked completely out of place with all the Dutch architecture around it and stuff like that. So the new Gottsburg is very simple and the train station that I've installed here sits exactly where the art gallery used to be. And the whole idea with this series was to have little towns that represent a specific architecture type or culture or, or country and link them all together with a train. And I guess Gottsburg would be representing the sort of Swiss or Austrian style small medieval village and indeed, in this episode, I want to move on to an Italian coastal type town. And that's exactly what we do. So I decided to build the first of these little Italian towns in this little valley here. So I have to get rid of these train lines before we do anything. And the inspiration that I'm using for this little Italian coastline comes from a place in Italy called Cinque Terre, and I hope I've pronounced that correctly, and in particular this first town we're building is based on a place called Manarola, which is this beautiful tiny little Italian town, and there's a series of these up the coast that make up the Cinque Terre area, and they're all connected by this crazy little train line, which I'm definitely going to include. So with all of that in mind, the first thing I'm trying to do is bring a train line in with tunnels and then turn it into a surface train track for about two or three hundred meters and then back into a tunnel. And this is where our little valley town is going to sit. I've also got a road coming here from Gottsburg through a tunnel that runs next to the train track and that's going to turn and go through this little wee town and then eventually out to the side of the map. And you can see these roads here in real life, they run right through these very sharp valleys. So that's what I'm trying to do with the road, follow these valleys and I've made the terrain as such. But I've done it very quickly because we're going to actually come back and detail a lot of the terrain with cliff and rock props. But before we can get into that, I go back and detail the piece between the edge of Gottsburg and right up to where this village is here. And I'm copying a small piece of that Cinque Terre coast here with the train line coming through. In real life, it looks like there's some sort of train station here, but I'm actually going to push that over and into our little village. So this is just more or less going to be retaining walls and maybe some sort of little toll area or little area where you can pull over if you need to. So where these tunnels go into the terrain, I'm making sort of a little rock shed. I'm going to make it look like the terrain sort of spills on top of a, um, yeah, like a rock shed that keeps the falling debris and stuff off the road. And again, I'll be following that real life model there as closely as I can, at least for that part. And the rest of it's pretty simple. I am following it with the rest of it as well, the real life model, but probably not quite as closely as that rock shed. Because, to be honest, the rest of the area is quite simple, so I don't really need to overdo it. So, in terms of props for that rock shed, I've used really simple things. I've just squeezed down the concrete block prop from Ronix. I think it's the tunnel block. 
and then just use that with procedural objects and yeah try to shape it like this real life one I think the pillars that I've used are vanilla as well and just PO'd and squeezed down to fit and then surface networks on the top I've also placed a couple little dummy buildings in that have been modified with procedural objects and I don't know what these are for they just look pretty cool and yeah I don't know you can have a guess at what they're for Some of the hills immediately surrounding the town are terraced out with these like vegetation plots on them where they must have gardens and things like that. But to be honest where else are you going to do this sort of thing so this is quite resourceful. Unfortunately I couldn't modify the terrain enough or I couldn't find a way to make these look as realistic as I would have liked. But using a thin terra network to control the terrain, I've sort of got it pretty close. At least it gives the impression that there are um, vegetation plots, which is enough, I think. So in the end, it took quite a bit of work with these terra networks because they're quite fiddly and I wanted to move them close enough together that they gave a good impression of these terraces being quite small, but you can't move them too close together because you get a bit of a funky texture. So I needed to find a happy medium and starting with just these two very immediate hills to the town, this is sort of what it looked like once I'd finished with those networks. And I was actually really stoked with how that came out. I was glad that I went through with the Terra networks. I was close to doing just doing it with props. And uh, yeah, now this has come out much better. So next I switch focus just a little wee bit and we start putting in some tunnels nearby. And I'm going to highly modify this area here in particular, but... I felt the need to put this in because it was pretty ugly and because I want to start getting stuck into building this town very shortly I need to finish off the road and take it all the way to the edge of the map so what I do is I use Acurus's little tip create a connection and then use move it to move it right in and then I can put it at the base of a hill and make it look like it's going into a little tunnel then that road ends up extending down through a series of S-bends and into our little Manarola version town. This is the road that's going to snake all the way around the coast and up to another little Italian style coastal town that we'll build a bit later in the series. And I also spent a good two or three hours detailing all of this area with rocks to create cliffs. And I've only used two different props. One of them is Grey Flames, um, really sort of white looking rock. And the other is Vecchio Cristo's Outcrop Rocks. And I've only used the two because I've found if we use too many different types of rocks it looks pieced together. Whereas using the sort of one texture it does look a little bit repetitive but it can also look a lot better this way. I think anyway. I finish up that with a few little rocks and some sort of sandy textures. Then this next bit here I've taken inspiration from the actual little town of Manarola directly for this bit. And looking at this now this path's a little bit steep. So I'm going to try and flatten this out later on. And then I look to put a stone retaining wall around here at the bottom of where these terraces are. But not before I put some grass and stuff underneath this arch and sort of detail up the nature a little bit. Then with this retaining wall I use a surface network at the top to bring the um, sort of grass right over to the retaining wall. And I also put like a half broken stone wall leading up the inside or rather the outside of the road where it borders the rock 
and it just adds a little touch of imperfection and this indeed leads to being able to put in the first buildings so that's pretty exciting and we move on to that next it goes without saying that I had to nail these buildings if I wanted to get the look of this little village right. Luckily, Steam has all of my needs covered and Xarix in particular does amazing Italian buildings. There's a couple of others and my apologies, I've forgotten their names. But having a look here at Manarola, what can we say about these buildings? Well, a couple of things stand out straight away. They've all got terracotta, probably concrete tile roofs, which help regulate the heat and are also very low maintenance. Number two would be they all have very similar pastel coloured facades and this would be again to keep the sun temperature low on the cladding and keep everything really low maintenance. Among other things I mean there'd be many reasons why they would use these materials. One big one being they're probably easily sourced locally. Now, I think it's fair to say the other thing about these buildings that makes them very unique is the way they're all squeezed together. Some of them are shaped very odd. Um, to be able to squeeze into these areas. There's very narrow walkways between them. Obviously no vehicles can get up here. A lot of this would be pedestrian only. In fact, the road that you can see here, the one that's running past where we're building, is going to be the only road running through this entire town. Um, everything else, I'm using the building spawn points mod so that their services can all be reached off this one road and yeah i've got the hang of that mod and we are going crazy with it so i'm really excited about all of that so some of these buildings you see me placing on screen here are going up on this retaining wall that we sort of put down earlier and some of them are going down on the flat here and i've made this road sort of loop around and back on itself and we are packing these buildings in like little sardines in a tin and although it's sort of unavoidable i'm trying not to overlap these buildings too much so trying to find ones that sort of fit and look like they're either built up against each other wall to wall or they're overlapping just slightly but you know it doesn't jump out at your eye but with all of that said these first buildings here were definitely trial and error there was a lot of work that I did off camera and I'm happy with how they look now but I've only put a handful down for now as well because I want to carry on with something else before we come back and plop a few more buildings down and then detail the whole area. So I want to jump back to these terraces that I made earlier and finish these up. And when we look closely at this area on Google Earth, we can see that some of the areas have fences. There's different fences everywhere. Some of them have like, it looks like lettuce and things like that. And others have like bushier fruit tree type crops. So I look to vary all of those things, the fences, the vegetation. And I know that I've got to get good at this because there is so much of this in real life. And I know this is a big part of the aesthetics. So I've got to nail this. If I can find a quick and easy way to make this look good, then I am going to apply it to, yeah, a fair area. I'd love to apply it to hills way in the distance, but the mechanics of the game and the limits are just not going to allow me to do that. So I will have to pick and choose where I do it, but I will be pushing that as far as I can. So now we can come back and detail a little bit more closely and I had to start with this big arch bridge from the actual Manarola and I just couldn't not do this. This is such an iconic part of this little wee village. And there's also our road that we put in earlier running about 10 metres back from the edge of this and I use surface networks to connect it up so it all just looks like it's all one piece of concrete at the top. And then with the rest of the area the predominant builds are two little car parks and some boat sheds and some boats scattered around with various cliffs and this looks great when it's done I think that looks really cool the way that all the buildings follow the contours of the land and the cliffs and the contrast between the two it sort of all comes together Now we can move in a little bit closer and detail it up for a second time and this time we're looking at little wee props so things like decals, handrails, you know entrances to buildings and things like that, little umbrellas and casual social areas, 
You might also notice if you've got a keen eye that I've changed the LUT. I've also messed around with the tone blooming and I think this is pretty spot on. It's a warmer, more sort of vibrant feel. If it hasn't changed yet, you'll see it change coming up, I think. But I'd really like to know what you guys think of that change as well in the comments. Speaking of comments guys, please let me know what you think of this little redo and if you're frustrated that I've deleted your favourite build or you're, you know, maybe you're happy with the direction it's gone, I hope you are, please let me know either way. Anyway, with that, that bit is all detailed up and looking really cool. And the next bit I want to push on to is, this is really the first deviation, major deviation that I've taken from the actual mana roller. And I want to install a little golden sand beach here because... I'll be honest with you, I really miss Gottsburg Beach. I loved that build. I hated where I put it, hence why I've moved it, but here it's coming back. Albert, a little bit different, but yeah, still is unique and eye-catching. I want to have real buildings and real public spaces on the beach as well, so I've got to run a road access down here, or I want to anyway, because I think it looks appropriate. And the rest of the area is just a nice little sandy beach and a bit of a breakwater covered in rocks. You'll also notice some pretty gnarly cliffs up behind the beach, which are going to set the backdrop to pretty much the whole entrance to this little town. And with all of that done, I can push on to putting some of the buildings in. And because I wasn't following anything on Google Earth, I sort of made a point to stick as true as I could to the rest of the city. So the way these buildings are laid down, the types of buildings, it's all very similar to the rest of the town. The only difference may be that these buildings are a little bit bigger. I thought it might be appropriate that these are slightly larger apartments or maybe they're sort of makeshift hotels now that the town has experienced tourism. Either way, we've got lovely pastel colours and beautiful terracotta tiles on the roof and it all looks pretty lovely down here in front of the beach. And I had a little bit of space in between the buildings we had just placed down and the cliff, so I squeezed a few more buildings along the back here. And what I've done is I've used the building spawn points for the first time here to change their service area to the front road. And I've got to say that building spawn point is very simple to use and a fantastic mod. I've set these buildings up down the back so that all the services are accessed from the one point via this road. But you can actually add points and have different services access at different points which is pretty awesome. So now to complete this area I could put down some usable actual beach parks that people are going to use. And I hate the umbrellas so I spent some time putting my own in and a little bit more detailing off camera and this beach is done. So guys just quickly we need a name for the little town here as well so hit up the comments and let me know your best suggestions. It was really hard for me to delete massive parts of Gottsburg, but I hope you guys can see why I did it now. This little town is already creating the vibe, the exact vibe that I was talking about. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and in the next one we take this further. So I hope to see you there. Take it easy guys, see you later.